I am the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining us today. In my hands, I've got two beautiful Umarex gauntlets, but there are some major differences that I'm gonna to talk to you about today. Keep watching. We got Hajimoto in town. All right, guys, we have got some really cool stuff to talk about today. Here with my good buddy, we got our Umarex hats on. We're ready to go. I hope you are too. Let's get started. Today we've got our two gauntlets. Now, this is a stock gauntlet except for the barrel band, which uh, we did a video on that actually, how to do a DIY barrel band. Uh, if you really need to go with something inexpensive but effective, P PCP, PVC, PVC barrel <laughs> band, there we go. Yeah, I can talk today. This one, on the other hand, has a whole bunch of upgrades. Now, I have an entire list of the upgrades I will put in the description below. You can check it out. But I sent my gun to my good friend Hajimoto, and he took this thing completely apart and decked it out. Check out the full list below now. We'll wait. I hope they're reading. Think they're reading? No. They just skipped ahead right now. Should we start? We've got all of these upgrades and uh, one of the most impressive ones, personally in my book, is this bolt upgrade because this bolt is so much slicker now than it ever was before. And he, we've got the full Hajimoto baffle system up front, which makes it so much more quiet. Everything is still ridiculously accurate and improves the accuracy and the sound. So we're going to test these out today. But first, let me show you some close-ups. Okay, you can see that the bolt itself is polished on the inside. It used to be all black, now it's all polished. And watch this, okay? Do you see how smooth that is? I wish you guys could feel it, but it is way smooth. And moving forward, it's like there's nothing even there at all. It is fantastic. That is so smooth now. And you can see that we've got the 3D printed Hajimoto barrel band on here. Now all new gauntlets that ship out have a barrel band from the factory. But if you were one of the early starters, such as myself, that didn't have one installed, then Hajimoto makes a great barrel band and you can even put a tripod or a bipod on the end of it or any flashlights, anything that you want. I'm not gonna pull this off, but there is the baffle system on the inside and it allows all of the air pressure to go right out behind instead of the original way that it was engineered. And this makes for a straighter, faster pellet, as well as some serious improvements to the sound suppression system. You can also see right back here, there are a few holes. I'm not sure if you can see that back there, but right there, there's a hole and a couple of others behind it that allows the air pressure to escape. Now you can also take a look at the trigger and you can see that it is completely different than the original trigger that came from the factory. This is a Hajimoto trigger. You can buy this separately and all of these parts separately for the upgrades. I want you to watch. I have nothing in the system right now, but I'm going to pull this trigger. You can see how crisp it is. Ready? Hardly any poundage to get that to fire. It is so crisp. It is so easy to fire now. It is absolutely pristine locked down. It's going to make for improved accuracy. Now there are a bunch of other upgrades. If you haven't checked that description out yet, I highly recommend that you do. There are all sorts of things that are going on in here now, and I'm super excited. Hajimoto himself has tuned this, and you can send your guns to him as well and get them specifically tuned for a pellet for hunting. He tuned mine to a 1400 PSI regulation in the regulator itself now instead of the factory 1100 and it is tuned to shoot the 18 grain JSB pellets. That is because I'm a hunter, and so he figured, because I'm a hunter, a little bit heavier of a pellet, and it is still just whipping out these pellets. So let's see how fast it goes now. I've got the exact Jumbo Heavy Diabolo 18.13 grain. I'm going to be sending this downrange in the upgraded gauntlet, and uh, I haven't sighted this in. I haven't done anything with it yet. All I'm doing right now is seeing how fast they're going and just listen and see how quiet this is, okay? All right, here we go with the 18.13 grain inaugural shot right here. We're at about 2,500 PSI right now. Oh, I've missed you, Gauntlet. All right, here we 
we go. 835 feet per second, guys. 18.13 grain. And that actually is already pretty well sighted in. 72. 72 decibels. That is so quiet. 72. 72. 73. That is completely backyard friendly. You look at the difference in the speed, that was 742 feet per second. Uh, the one that I'm shooting is going 824 feet per second. That is flying. Okay guys, I have got some Hades 22 Diabolo in 15.8 grain, 0.89 grain. I wanna see how they do through the chronograph. Also, these are special. If you can see, they're painted. My good buddy Andy at PaintedPellets.com does an excellent job of painting pellets. He goes through every single pellet in the tin and shaves it, makes sure all of the seams are good. He makes sure the inside is good and symmetrical. And then he goes very meticulously and paints everything on the inside so that they show up really, really cool. Let's see how fast it goes through the chronograph. 15.89 grain with the Hajimoto upgrades. 881. Man, that is some power, guys. That was hole over hole. Yeah. Dang, 871. 864. 862. I want to show you, this is the stock gauntlet, all right? So we've got the bolt, the stock trigger. I want to show you how much uh, creep is in the trigger, etc., when it's stock without adjusting it. So the gauntlet trigger itself is fully adjustable. So you can take it, you can adjust it very easily. There are instructions online for how to do that, and you can make it very nice. I have shot stock gauntlet triggers that have been completely adjusted by Umrix themselves, and they're very fun, okay? But just out of the box, all right, I'm gonna close the bolt, okay? Here goes the trigger. Let's make sure I'm uh, aiming at a target. All right, watch the trigger. One, two, three, and four, and there we go. We finally got a break. All right, watch that one more time. Really helps that I'm left-handed doing this for the camera, huh? All right, here we go. Three, four, five, six, there we go. Let's show the Hajimoto upgrade. We've got bolt back. Let's put a magazine in. Bolt forward and down, okay? Now watch the trigger. Watch very carefully. Let me get on target. Just my parallax here. Okay, here we go. All right. Whoo! Barely had to touch that and it was gone. See that? It's just right there, it breaks. So let's do that one more time. There's a bullseye, by the way. I could say whatever I want, I guess, and you'd have to believe me, but uh, yeah. Just like that, it is super, super easy, very crispy. There's no hold up whatsoever. It's very smooth, very polished. That is some excellent work. We are going to, now that we're sighted in, we are going to take a few shots, see how accurate this thing is. Again, with all of the upgrades, Hajimoto did at 25 yards starting, okay? Wow, that's impressive. Dang, dang. <laughs> Woo! Let's move this out a little bit. 50 yards? Sure. All right. Holy Kansas. 
I can't believe it, guys. I held it. Shoot straight for the center. I did. I actually held over. Held over for one. I think I hit the bottom of the target. Oh, yeah, I see it. That was at one point. doing any fold over on this right now. Wow, guys, wow. So I had a couple there that uh, pulled a little bit to the left, but let's go take a uh, closer look. Woo! 50 yards, guys. You can see that I pulled a couple of them to the left there. I felt myself do it at the end, but otherwise everything is right in here. And then these three were the ones that I pulled. That's incredible, 50 yard accuracy. This is the stock gauntlet, not cleaned, mind you. I have had really good hole over hole accuracy at 50 yards with the gauntlet before after cleaning the barrel. So that's probably the only thing that's going on here is it just needs a little cleaning. It looks like his barrel definitely just needed the cleaning. Guys, I am the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you so much for watching. We have the Hajimoto upgrades and it was fan freaking tastic. So incredibly accurate. Now, something interesting that we noticed is that after we took off the DIY barrel band, we don't know why exactly, but it is more accurate now, right? It feels a lot more accurate, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So, I don't know if something was going on there, if the vibration was off. There is uh, vibrational tuning that happens in these barrels. And if you have something at the wrong point, maybe it could cause that, I don't know. But we're not having any of those problems with the Hajimoto barrel band. So. <laughs> I don't know, but these upgrades are fantastic. You can do them yourself. Hajimoto, thank you so much. Guys, like, subscribe, share. The Umarex Gauntlet for 300 bucks is a wonderful, wonderful way to get into the air gun world, especially PCPs. Now, all in all, with a few hundred dollars in upgrades, you can be blasting targets with supreme accuracy as well. You don't need to upgrade. I think all we needed was to take the barrel band off and clean this, and it has done very, very good work for us in the past stock. But if you like tinkering and you like just that, that absolute supreme smoothness, go with the Hajimoto upgrades. It's fantastic. These guns are wonderful, guys. They're wonderful. What do you think, man? Can I get that? Yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's what I like to hear. All right, man. Hey. Thanks for watching, guys. That's pretty comfortable. Let's give it a shot. Or two or 60. We're in buck territory. Yes! <laughs> I'm the dollar sportsman. Yes, I'm the dollar sportsman. I'm the dollar sportsman. Having fun out here. I just enjoy all of this. Because after watching these videos, I hope you do. Yeah, buddy.